Hello everyone, my name is Hamd al -Mahdali. My topic for the video assignment is to explain the reason for kink demand curves. Now, the kink demand curve model is typically found in oligopolistic markets. These are markets where the majority of the market share belongs to only a few firms, and these firms are considered to be highly interdependent, meaning that the decisions made by one firm are highly influenced by its competitors. Therefore, the firms in this market watch each other's moves very closely. Now let me explain to you the theory of the King Demand Curve model and show you what the diagram would look like. So let's say we're on a small island with a small airport. There are only three airlines that offer regular flights from this island back to the mainland, which are Airline A, Airline B, and Airline C. Now each of these airlines sell their ticket at about $100, and they sell a quantity of approximately 500 tickets a week. Let's assume airline A decided to raise their price to $120. Now the other airlines would be right to assume that customers would not want to pay extra for the ticket and so airlines B and C would stay at the initial price of $100. They would do this in an attempt to gain the customers that airline A will lose due to its price increase. Now again, because of the price increase, airline, the quantity that airline A will sell will reduce drastically to about, let's assume, 200 tickets. This means airline A would lose a significant percentage of their market share. Now because of this, the demand curve for airline A above the initial, tick, uh, the initial price would be very elastic. Now in another scenario, let's assume airline A decides to lower its price down to $80. Now they've done this to try and attract more customers. Because this is an interdependent market where all the airlines monitor each other very closely, it wouldn't take airlines B and C very long to find out about airline A's price cut. Now to prevent the loss of their customers, both B and C would be forced to lower their prices and match them with the prices that airline A have set. So because the prices are matched again, airline A would witness a very small increase in quantity of tickets sold. So let's assume 650 tickets. Due to this, the demand curve below the initial price of $100 would be highly inelastic. And this is where we have the kink in the demand curve. Now as for the marginal revenue curve, which is plotted here in red, since we know it diminishes at about twice the rate of the demand curve, it would look something like this. What is unusual is this gap in the marginal revenue curve. Simply put, if the firm lowers its price below the initial price of $100, a strong reaction from the competitors will occur. This will be in the form of an industry-wide price drop. This will cause the marginal revenue to drop dramatically, causing a gap in the curve. Once that is done, it will continue with the inelastic demand curve below. Now we can put the marginal cost curve in this area. This is where the firm would want it to stay because this is where MC equals MR, and hence it gives us the profit maximization. As you can see, the marginal cost could vary significantly, and the firm would want to still charge the same price and put out the same amount of quantity. Even if the costs were to increase marginally. So from this we could assume that the price in this model and in oligopolistic markets is very sticky, which means the firms prefer to not change their prices. And instead, firms would rather engage in non-price competition. Well, this was my attempt to try and explain the kink demand curve in the oligopoly market. I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you for watching.